Hello everybody, it's Friendly Foe. We're back again recording another video. It is currently March 28th. We are on lockdown because of coronavirus. We are at the stay at home law. It is rumored that if they catch you outside, it's a $500 to $1,000 fine. So might as well record a video, am I right guys? So the game that we're going to be doing today is Stanley Parable because last week it was free on the Epic Games Store and I was like, might as well, you know, grab it while we can and play it. I've never played it before, but I know it's on, like, Jacksepticeye's, like, top, like, tier game list for, like, fourth wall breaks, and I love those kind of games, so I figured I might as well play it. And now, I haven't really done anything, like, and I'll show you that in a second as we're recording this screen right here. I'm just gonna pull this down, and I just wanna show you that, uh, we have a, uh, like, like, a, uh, window security alert that was wanting us to, like, block some features and i don't know why it's just a game but i just wanted to show you that we are allowing access and i'm kind of nervous but yeah that was just one little fun thing i want to show you that we haven't really messed with it at all and now this is the thing look at the computer screen look over there it follows my mouse and even on the computer screen over here it says you're playing the stanley parable let's put on the other headphone that's so self-aware it's that's awesome. Like, it follows my mouse and has little clicks when I do it, like... That's awesome. I haven't really clicked on anything else on here, but I want to experiment with you guys on this game. Because that's awesome. Just that little mouse screen right there. That's pretty cool. Let's begin game. End is never the end is never the end of this. <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird. Loading. End is never the end is never the end is loading me. <laughs> uh... I'm already, like, nervous. This is kind of interesting. Because I know, like, on the trailer, the, the description was, you are playing the Stanley Parable. You are not playing the Stanley Parable. You will enjoy the Stanley Parable. You will not enjoy the Stanley Parable. You are Stanley. You are not Stanley. <laughs> like, one of those things. Like, it was really interesting. It was, like, contradicting each other. Oh, where'd my mouse go? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Stanley was happy. The room was sitting there in space. <laughs> and then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or it's even Saturday. say hi. <laughs> Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. Now, I don't really know what to do. I've never really played a mouse and keyboard game. Like, I had to connect to, like, an external mouse because that's what I was afraid of. But how will I know to click on something? Whoa. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell Did under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? Days? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, That's not how life soon is, now, man. this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. 
Here it comes. I didn't do anything. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. I did it again. I closed the door. Decision. Okay, we're back. I had to sit through that entire monologue again. Uh, close the door. Don't close the door. Okay, yeah. I was clicking around. There we go. Can I close the door now? Ha! Joke's on you. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Turn on again. Sorry, I want to, like, inspect everything. Uh, no. Okay, I was like, I... I closed the door again. Maybe I should stop clicking stuff and just try to play the game. You know what I mean? Click stuff again. Ha, huh, nice number. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Awaiting input. <laughs> Username is access. Okay, yeah, maybe I should explore stuff. Can I turn you on? Ha. Huh. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Sorry, okay, fine then. Fine then, I'll continue on. My bad, narrator. I'm still clicking stuff. Ooh, it's like we're in a doctor's office now. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What if I go to the door on the right? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Uh. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. My bad. It looks like my office. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I don't think so. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Caution, do not lie. If you're lying, right now, stop. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start following instructions. I feel like I'm breaking the game, and I should probably play right fully. Okay, I'm... Okay. Do not jump from cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. <laughs> A penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. Look, Stanley, I think Ooh, perhaps we've up. gotten off on the wrong foot here. Oh, weird. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact Where is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Can I jump off the cargo lift? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, st st what? Really? But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform <laughs> and plunged to his death. No! Good job, Stanley. <laughs> Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <gasps> oh, I just wanted to try it. This game really does give you 100% control. Maybe I should just go to the office. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. 
Achievement unlocked. Unachievable. It's like a paradox. Okay, we're gonna skip everything this time. Go straight to the office room. No, we're gonna jump off the cargo again. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah, uh, I want to go to the door on the right, though. You know, I do what I want. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and, and Stanley, Stanley knew, knew it perfectly well. well. Stanley knew perfectly Perhaps well. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No, I want to go jump off the cargo. Wow, yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Stanley was so bad. I just want to keep doing this. I want to see if I can make the person mad. Five years ago. We. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, oh, no. Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Okay. Will there be more papers this time? Everything's back to normal. Okay. We're going to the coffee room this time. All of his co-workers were gone. What Conference room, mean? I promise. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, now, this is where the game gets real, guys. I promise. Ah! No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Meeting room. Tips Yet for not getting not fired. A single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I don't know what that means. How to solve it? Whoa! Who's changing the slides? Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure that your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header. But everyone is unique. You, most of all. Cool. Okay. Can you switch it? I want to read the one where it was how to not get fired. Okay. It doesn't matter. We're clicking everything. Just to make the dude mad. I made him mad so far. Whoa. Okay. I thought it like... Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Now upstairs or downstairs? Staircase, Which one? Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I just want to see. There's probably nothing down there. This mouse cord keeps getting like around my hands. I'm putting it around my neck. Yeah, that's the person I am. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I like that. Oh, yeah, I do not like this. I'm assuming that's the boss's room, so we're gonna go down. Wait, no, maybe this is the boss's room. Executive bathroom. Okay. We can't even go that way. Yeah, I hate keyboard and mouse games. Not, I don't hate the games, I just hate that I... Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, I would just go unraveled, home. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 288. Four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. This is weird. There's like, there, there's the pointer on the screen, but then it disappears. Where? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Do I actually have to type it on my keyboard? Typed in two eight four two, five. Eight four five. Two eight four five. 
Let me go get an actual keyboard.